my video of things you don't know about me. 10 things you don't know about me or may not have known. Numero uno. Um, I have an odd fear when I'm in the bathroom. Um, I'm going to read this and then I'll explain better. I hate leaving the stall when I know other people are at the sink washing their hands. I try to avoid bathroom small talk as much as possible. Even if I stay, even if I have to stay in the stall for a very long time, <laughs> I will. Um, when I'm at work and I'm going to the bathroom, I pretty much refuse to leave the stall when I know that someone else is at the sink or something and I get really really nervous. I mean, if I know someone else is in the um, stall next to me, um, I get really really nervous like to just flush and leave and wash my hands and leave because I'm afraid that they're going to come out at the same time and it's just really awkward because I hate talking in the bathroom. Um, it just, it's awkward. <laughs> It's not my favorite thing ever. I would much rather just not have bathroom small talk. And a lot of times it's nice. Like, I notice, like, I'll be at the sink washing my hands, and then when I'm doing the paper towel thing to dry them, then the people in the stall will flush. And then by that time, by the time they're out of the stall, I have left. So it's very nice. Like, I think a lot of girls abide by that rule. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. I hate bathroom small talk very much. I just, I just don't like it. Um, I love Britney Spears. Through her Hit Me Baby One More Time years, all through the Shaving Her Head years. I love her music, and if you judge me because of it, screw you! <laughs> no, I've always loved Britney Spears. Um, I, one of her babies that she had, it was born September 16th, and to be honest, the only reason I know that is because I was at Secret Point, um, and it was my boyfriend's and my one of our yearly anniversaries and uh, we don't, aren't together anymore by the way but um it was one of our anniversaries and we were celebrating at cedar point and we were getting on the gemini and they said that britney spears had her baby and i'm like oh my god it's on our anniversary like that i was i was excited um but yeah so i love her um i think getting my eyebrows waxed is one of the most relaxing things ever yeah it hurts a lot but i love it like one reason why I might love it, <laughs> this is really gross, but um, from fourth grade until about two years ago, I had, I actually have the problem, I'm taking medicine for it, but I had um, trichotillomania, and what that is, is it's a hair pulling problem disease, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't have it as majorly as some other people do, like, it can get pretty bad, I'll try and get some photos and upload it at the end of this, but um, I pulled my eyelashes. I had no top eyelashes. Crazy, right? Now they're like full and pretty and it's been like two years that I've been clean. <laughs> clean. But um, yeah, I have to take Paxil for it because I guess it's like a half OCD thing, like a nerve thing. It's it's crazy. But um, yeah, maybe that's why I think getting my eyebrows waxed is relaxing. I don't know, but I really do enjoy it. Um, yeah. Um, I hate saying things that I think would be funny and have no one laugh at them, so instead I usually stay pretty quiet. Um, a lot of people think I'm shy, and I guess I am, but to an extent. But I also am afraid that I'm going to say something that I think is absolutely hilarious, and then no one's going to say anything, and, and then I just feel stupid. I know I probably shouldn't care, but that's how I am. Um, yeah. Um, I am never happy with my hair. I always have to change it, whether it be the color or the length. If I think someone has a really cute haircut, I usually want to get mine cut just like it. Um, yeah, I'm always changing my hair. Always. Um, I think I've had my hair in a couple different styles within, like, the past eight months. <laughs> it's bad. Um, hair color. Actually, I've kept it brown for a really long time. Um, this is the first time it's been blonde since... I left Rover, um, which was in August, late August, so it's been a pretty long time since it's been any kind of a blonde color, <laughs> besides when it fades out. So yeah, there's that. Oh, <laughs> I'm not very ladylike, that's something you might want to know about me. Um, where did I leave off? Okay, I really hate jeans that aren't the perfect length. Um, I think I look like a complete idiot if they don't nicely lay on my shoes. I can't stand jeans. I actually have two pairs, um, and no, one, because the one wore out, yes. 
so I'm waiting for this one to wear out and then I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> I mean, they were expensive jeans, but I'll waste the money because they are short. Like, I sit down and I can see my ankles. It's disgusting. I mean, I wear them to work because I don't really care, but I will never wear them out in public because they're embarrassing. <laughs> I really hate it. I have to have the perfect jeans. Um, they have to display nicely on my shoes um, and be comfortable, but I really care about how they look around my shoes. Um, super long, they look idi idiotic, and not long enough, they look idiotic, so I'm pretty picky about that. Um, I am mildly obsessed with Will and Grace, so much so that I try to plan my lunch so I can come home, eat during my, um, eat lunch during my lunch, <laughs> well, that's what you do on a lunch break, eat lunch during my lunch break and watch Will and Grace. This is true. Actually, though, ever since our TV in the living room broke and we had to take the one out of my dad's room and put it in the living room, I can't watch it because Lifetime no longer works on that TV, so it's just a bunch of static, so it's really depressing. So instead I get on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweet. Um, I seriously hate the snow. I wish it were 70 degrees in the winter, and I do not dream of a white Christmas. Um, that is so true. I really hate snow. Um, I wish I could live in Florida or something. Like, I was actually just discussing this with friends, how much I hate snow. It's not even funny. Like, I really, really hate snow. I mean, when I was a kid it was fun, but I really hate snow. Um, I am always afraid that when I receive a gift, people will think I don't like what I receive. So if I act overly excited, I'm afraid... So if I act overly excited, it's because I'm afraid that my normal reaction will send a signal that I don't like it, even though I love it. I've always been like this. Um, I actually warned my first boyfriend on our first Christmas um, that I get really nervous opening gifts, um, you know, for that reason, because it just that's just how I am. I'm always afraid that I'm not going to send up the reaction that, oh my god, I love it, you know. Um, so I warned him that, you know, I really hate opening gifts in front of people, so um, if it doesn't act like I like it, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just shy. Um, so yeah. I someday have a dream to be able to go to stores that my friends go to and buy clothes. This meaning losing weight. Um, I think most of you know that. Um, but it really sucks because all my friends are thin and they can buy like the really cute clothes. They don't have cute big people clothes. It's not fun. <laughs> so that's that. And then, last but not least, my nose ring. Um, I have an obsession with playing with it. Um, it's so bad that, um, like three times now I've woken up and, oh, my nose ring is gone. Um, I actually came home from lunch two days ago and I had to find my nose ring and it was in my bed. Like, I play with it in my sleep and then it comes out. Like, it's seriously crazy. Um, I don't even know, like, how that came about, but... Yup. So that's 11 things that you never knew about me before. Why don't you guys try and come up with things that people probably don't know about you and um, share them. I mean, it's pretty interesting to learn more about the people that you're watching. So, yup. I will talk to you guys later. Adios.